Ciao, homie. So the way the official Strongman Games 2021 finals works is the points are carried over from the semifinals into the finals, but just against the other finalists that you face there. So whereas you may have scored 32 points because there were 32 competitors in the semifinals, you the 32 becomes 10 now and the 31 becomes 9 now and so forth because we're, we are carrying the points over but comparing them at a scale of just the guys you competed against that also made it into the finals. So that being said, the two events in the finals for official Strongman Games 2021 are a set of six bags over the high bar and then the head-to-head -head Atlas Stones. So let's have a look at all the research that went into the bag over bar for the finals at the 2021 official Strongman Games. Orion Lejeune uh, comes away with a 9.09 .09 score, not very good at all for his rating here. And for some guys who didn't have bag over bar, I used keg over bar, whatever I could find. Dennis Berezhnik has a good score, 75. Emmanuel Frias, 89.19, a very, very good score. And uh, just again to mention, when you see uh, Strongman Corporation Nationals or USS Nationals or Canada's Strongest Man, something that's a national competition will be multiplied by 0.8 to equilibrate for the fact that they're competing against international competition now. Um, amateur worlds have a 0.7 multiplier, states have a 0.6, so there's different ways that I equilibrate for those things. Frederick Rayom, 52.94. Gabriel Rayom, not as good at 44.3. Jitsa Kramer, 55.45. Jonathan Lester, a very good score at 80.56. Josh Thigpen has an 83.33 score, so an incredible score for him. Marcus Crowder, a very good 66.67. Nick Hash, not great at these type of events. A 10 rating for him. Again, these are out of 100. 83.33 for Peter Juhaz as you can see, and you can look through the various contests I use to aggregate this as I scroll down. Sean Hayes, 35.29 on the lower end of the spectrum for this type of event. Spencer Remick, even lower at 24.75, so not one of his better events. Stefan Sakej at 92.86, an incredible score. Uh, Norway's strongest man, so that'll get multiplied by 0.8 because it's a national competition, not international. Tim Buck, 85.9, a very, very good score for him as well. Tyler Cotton, of right in that same range, even better at 88.56. Wesley Claiborne, a good score, 65.56 rating for him. And Zach Hadge, 25, not very great at uh, bag over bar type events. Let's see how all of this detailed research and information goes into the predictions. Starting off, uh, Stuart Graham, I didn't have any details for him, so unfortunately I had to put him at the bottom of the list. Two points will go to Nick Hadge with a rating of 10. Three points will go to Sean Hayes with a rating of 28.23. Four points go to Marcus Crowder with a rating of 53.34. Five points go to Jonathan Lester with a rating of 64.45. Six points go to Gabriel Rayom with a rating of 68.72. And you can tell already the ratings are going to be really high if we're at this low of a point scoring and have a rating already in the high 60s. So let's see what happens here. Seven points go to Emmanuel Frias with a rating of 71.35. Eight points go to Tyler Cotton with a rating of 78.28. Nine points go to Peter Juhaz with a rating of 83.33. And the winner, because remember, we only have 10 guys left now, Pablo Cordiaca, a rating of 90. He will get 10 points in the bag over bar. So you can see the points from the semifinals now equilibrated down to a 10-point scale and adding on to the bag over bar points. So you can start to do it in your head where you think everybody's going to fall. But that being said, once I have the information for the Atlas Stone predictions, I'll give you all that research and those predictions by clicking here.